Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. Starting with some updates, uh, this weekend, uh, Reading Memorial High School will host the Nesba State Marching Band Competition, uh, and Reading Memorial High School is looking to bring home the second championship in the last two years. So uh, RMHS will compete with 37 bands from across the state, across five different divisions, uh, and the RMHS band will be on the field at 2.15 p.m. So again, I uh, hope you all come out to support the band and all of their hard work. This year's show is called Amor and follows the story of two lovers uh, from Mexico in the 1950s. Shifting into an update from CPAC, you'll see here uh, the latest CPAC updates. It has information about program reviews, board elections, events, and more, and also a flyer about uh, an upcoming basic rights workshop and on transition planning. So uh, again, some of that information is included in the written newsletter. Shifting to another update from our community from the Reading Education Foundation, you'll see here a flyer with more information about the annual Festival of the Trees event. Uh, and we know that this is a community favorite. And as always, it'll be held at Parker and it'll be held on December 3rd and 4th. And for our last update is around uh, the Reading Adopt-A-Family. Uh, the Reading Adopt-A-Family is a program run by Reading Cares and the Reading Rotary Club uh, and also works closely with Human Services and the Reading Food Pantry. So every year for the past 30 years, uh, the organization has collected both recipients and donors to participate uh, for those who either can give a little bit extra support or those who need a little bit more support as we enter into the holiday season. Uh, so you see here, uh, there is a link here for more information. So again, uh, seeking both donors and those who are in need as recipients uh, to participate. So more information in the written uh, flyer. Uh, shifting into uh, shout outs for the week, we have two shout outs. I'd like to start with a sixth grade student at Parker Ohm Patel. Um, as you know, we have been uh, one of the focus areas for our district this year is improving the quality of food that we're providing uh, through our lunch options. And hopefully that you've seen that reflected in what students are saying and talking about in terms of their uh, the meals that they're eating here at schools. I'd like to give a shout out to Ohm. So uh, thanks to his hard work and advocacy uh, as a sixth grader at Parker. Um, the Reading Food Service Director held a food tasting for additional vegetarian options for students. And this is based off of Ohm's advocacy. So we hosted Alyssa Hills uh, from Deeply Rooted uh, to come to Parker one day and to serve up some Italian and Mexican inspired dishes using plant-based allergen-free crumbles. Uh, so Deeply Rooted offers clean label plant alternative derived from pea protein. So Ohm invited a few of his friends and they sampled a bunch of different food gave a lot of the food thumbs up, two thumbs up, and should see some of those vegetarian options reflected in some upcoming menus as well. So uh, thank you to Ohm for his advocacy. Uh, and also to uh, other students, as you have ideas around uh, options for food, please reach out to your principal, your cafeteria staff. They're very eager to hear your feedback and thoughts as we continue to try to improve uh, food options for our students. And lastly, to close, we'd like to shout out all students at Barrows Elementary for their participation in um, an all-school musical uh, production in honor of United Nations Day. Uh, the cafeteria was packed with uh, all the students across the body and all staff, and it was led by music teacher Miss Elena Rauchi. The students read introductions and each of their pieces in six different languages and sang songs, and these are the six primary languages of the United Nations. They also sang Frere Jaca as a round and also concluded with the song, What a Wonderful World. Uh, I'd like to read something that was the sentiment from our, our RPS arts director, uh, Dr. David Mosier, uh, who shared, I'm so proud of the way we are using the arts to teach multiculturalism and world citizenship, respect for all communities and peoples. Uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity for these students to practice their skills of public speaking, public singing and audience etiquette from early developmental stages. And I'm proud of the teacher and staff support for these students in this manner. What valuable lessons and what a powerful voice these students have when they show love for their world through the arts. And here is a link to just a video to close us out from the assembly. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. Go Rockets.